All right, uh, customer service and customer relations. Um, when I first entered into the HVAC industry, I just thought I'm going to be a mechanic and I'm going to turn wrenches and that's going to be good to go. But more than half of our job deals with interacting with customers, explaining situations and so forth. And there's some things that you can do to make it easier on you and the customer. And it is what it's going to take to make you from a good mechanic to a great service technician. And just like, you know, it, it goes without saying that you, I'm sure you have company policies where you need to be shaved, wear belts, tuck in your shoe, your shirt, have your uh, decent shoes on, not to have uh, McDonald's boxes stacked up on your on your dashboard. But the importance of this, it, it seems kind of silly because we're just working on air conditioning, but it's about developing um, trust and confidence in you as a technician. And I want you to picture this. Pretend like you're going on a on a vacation to Hawaii and you're getting ready to get on an airplane and you heard that this is the best pilot that ever flew the skies and so you're on the plane and the pilot walks in he's got shorts and flip-flops he's got on a Hawaiian shirt he hasn't shaved for three days got on a pair of sunglasses shoot you a peace sign and says hang on we're getting ready to go to Hawaii you know he could be the best pilot in the world you're going to question his abilities just based on his appearance and unfortunately we that's about all we have to go on on initial impressions so just remember that uh, this may seem silly to talk about but it, it's really re really important to uh, for you as a service technician to be successful okay and it's like I talked about the good hygiene and and um, you know you don't have big bags under your eyes and, and you, are you clean this is the same as this pilot. If he had big dark circles under his eyes like he'd been on a bender all all night, um, you wouldn't have much confidence in his ability to fly you safely. And again, uh, parking your truck, usually most trucks should not be parked in the driveway in case they um, leak oil. And just about every time you park in someone's driveway, the, the customer's husband comes home and you have to move your truck. So th small things like that are important to the customer. Also, the condition of your truck. I have had, while I've been a service technician, customers come out and look at my truck to see how neat and organized it is and have told me that they sent the last guy away from a different company because he opened up his truck and it was just a big junk pile. So the way you keep take care of your truck, if customers come out and, and are looking at it, they're going to get that impression that that's the way you're going to take care of their home and them. Again, we're wearing your proper protective equipment while on the job site also displays professionalism as well. And the other thing is, is you're going to run into people who have been without heating or cooling overnight. So you could go into the house. It could be 98 degrees in their house. They haven't slept all night. The kids have been screaming. You don't know what else is going on in their life. They they have maybe have bills they don't can't pay or they're parents just died so they are going to be uncomfortable and upset and very grumpy when you get there so you need to understand that it's not about you personally it is just the situation that they're in and you just need to take a look at it like that the other thing is is we we repair and run into um, heating and cooling problems several times a day hundreds of times a year this may be the first time that someone's ever had a problem with their air conditioning or heating they don't know what to expect and it's your job to make sure that they understand and that they're comfortable. All right, so it's just really important there, you know, I could do uh, one complete week's worth of class on uh, service systems and how to deal with with customers and to make the service call extremely easy on you and the customers, but you just need to be aware that perceptions, hygiene, and the way that you treat people is one of the most important parts of your job.